right guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome back to the channel. So this is an unboxing of the Panzer Arms AR-12 G4. I guess this is the fourth generation of the specific shotgun. And let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing. All right, we have our instruction manual. We have a couple of uh, interesting things. We got the uh, Panzer Arms cleaning kit, our uh, flip up sights. This is the high velocity High velocity piston that a lot of people like switching out as soon as they get it. Little box for our specific chokes. And the choke tool. And this is dope. Get two of the five round magazines. And I bet you guys didn't know, but on the bottom part of these, these are actually for uh, picky tinny rail attachments. I don't know if you guys can see. Yep. Two of those. We have two of our assembly tools. All right. Fresh out the box, straight from Turkey. Mm -hmm. All right guys, so you could actually add your ma second magazine up there. That's what the gun looks like. Pretty neat. Now I wish I had a wider lens I could show you guys a better view of the gun, but this is it. So, like I said, it's kind of cool that the uh, one of the five round magazines that come with the firearm actually fits on the front end of the Picatinny rail. So it's like this. The Panzer Arms AR-12. Uh. It's a really interesting 12 gauge shotgun. Now I do have to change out the piston. It does come with a high velocity piston, which is recommended to swap out if you're, you know, shooting you know, that type of ammo. The best ammo that I can recommend for this is uh, three inch Federal Shock 12 gauge slugs. Um, these guns love it, they cycle through right away. Uh, one of the best things I could advise is when you store it, go ahead and, I mean, store it empty, but keep this locked back like that. Keep it, keep it like that for about a day or two. And then once you take it to the range, go ahead and shoot anything above 1400 feet per second one ounce slugs and make sure make sure they're not steel plated make sure they're lead so yeah guys i have a soft spot for this specific gun especially because you know if it wasn't for a couple of videos that i posted i probably would have never hopped on the algorithm and now youtube is not demanding guns but you guys like watching them so and i like shooting them and i like making content so um until next time guys thank you so much for tuning in i hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys on the next one.